man, is it a good time to be a G.I. Joe Classified fan. We've got Serpentor, Mindbender, pre-orders from over a year ago, Target. Everything's shipping. And I was lucky enough to get the next wave, Wave 10, number 48, Zorana. Let's take a look. Number 48, Zorana, sister of Zartan, master of disguise. We're going to do a quick unboxing review. Um, no real modifications I can think of, but there's one thing that I will change, and I will just start with that. So, what is missing from this box? The artwork is gorgeous. The figure is gorgeous. But she's a dreadnought right she's not cobra dreadnoughts are a sub team of cobra they're the mercenaries the biker gang the cool punk rock just the badasses of cobra at least in my opinion um why doesn't she have the dreadnought logo behind her i'm gonna fix that just for my own personal taste but i think it's just an oversight that they had when making this figure I'm always going to start with the mint in-box collectors, taking a look at the box. If you look at this one, this is another great display piece. They did a really nice job with the box artwork. Um, the artist here, is his name is Marcus Williams. Whenever I find out the artist's name, I think they should get recognition. I'm going to link um, his Instagram in the description below if I can figure out how to do that. And hopefully he doesn't mind. Um, I was thinking that maybe his artwork was inspired by Tank Girl. Who I think Tank Girl was inspired by Zorana. And anyway, when you look at his artwork, it's really all his own type of stuff. So check it out. The one thing to note for the Mint Inbox collectors is this is going to be one of the last of the see-through boxes. They are getting rid of the plastic. We all know that it's coming. The uh, downside to that is you're not going to be able to see the figure inside to check for any type of quality issues. I don't see any on this one, um, but you do gain the artwork. So that's up to you with how you want to collect. Everybody likes to display these differently. Um, I've seen some people do the number out. That I don't understand. Figure out, artwork out. However, you're going to display it. It is a nice box. Um, they didn't change anything on the back here. They Last time they changed this was with the Spirit and Storm Shadow Wave. Uh, they added Cobra Officer, Spirit, Storm Shadow, but they haven't done anything since. So no Tiger Force or Twins or anything with Wave 10. And now before we open her up, who is Zorana? I already said that she is the sister of uh, Zartan. She's also a master of disguise where he uses different devices and things to help him get away with what he wants to do. She's like a method actress, wigs, makeup. Um, she really gets into her character. I like that they really kind of kept the punk rock look with her. Um, I always thought that she was like inspired by the really cool rock chicks from the 80s, uh, Joan Jett, Lita Ford, maybe uh, Pat Benatar, kind of like the legend of Billie Jean kind of look going on. Um, but she was actually inspired. If you look at her file card art, it was uh, one of the old project managers or development managers for G.I. Joe said that her file card was inspired by Wendy O. Williams of the plasmatics that was a punk rock band she was like hardcore cool chick they said that she was inspired by that which you can kind of see in the artwork anyway a uh, funny thing on the file card looking at the file card um i do think like i said zorana has inspired tank girl like 
the Dreadnoughts were the post-apocalyptic Mad Max team of G.I. Joe. And Hank Girl heavily borrowed those scenes with the post-apocalyptic thing. But on this file card, I also think that Zorana kind of inspired Mr. Pink from Reservoir Dogs. And I say that because if you read her file card, it's all about how she doesn't tip. And he's got that big speech in the diner at the beginning of Reservoir Dogs about how he doesn't tip. And his name's Mr. Pink. Come on. It's got to be related. Anyway, let's get her opened up. All right, before I do the actual unboxing, I switched out the back. If you can see, now it's got the uh, Dreadnought logo back there. I think it makes actually a little bit cooler packaging. Um, this is how I'm going to display my sealed box, but let's get her open. While I was opening her up, my daughter made me an omelet. So give me a second. I'm going to eat this and I'll be right back. That was delicious. Sorry about that. Let's just put her right here. Get this out of the way. All right. Into the review. How does she look? I think she looks pretty amazing. She definitely evokes the uh, original Real American Hero look. Um, She's got everything down. I mean, everything about her screams punk rock chick. As well made and designed as she is, there's still something a little bit tougher looking about the original version. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to take this little review outside for a quick second, and I'm going to compare the color change aspect of both. I'm going to see how long this one still takes to turn blue and how well this one kind of matches the old gimmick from the 80s. Obviously, I was kidding about that. There is no color change option for this. We've had, I think, six versions of the 3.75 inch Serana. It was only the first version that changed blue, but it is kind of a gimmick or it's a memory that a lot of guys, at least my age, all kind of like we're hoping for, right? So when Zartan came out, he didn't have the color change, but later, uh, they released a PulseCon version that did. Um, it didn't change in the sun. It changes in the cold, but it still changes color. So I would expect at some point they'll do the same thing with her. And when they release her twin brother, Xandar, they'll do the same with him. So keep that in mind. All right. So they did a really nice job with keeping the armor. Uh, it looks like this is like a steel stud. I think it looks really good. They did a nice job kind of updating this figure. Um, she, she looks amazing. She's going to really put a mark on your collection. It's a figure that you should not pass up. So she's got weapons that are inspired by, um, if you remember, I don't have the gun still. I don't know what I did with it. I'm sure I lost it over the years. But anyway, it still has the like the buzzsaw type of thing on the end here. Um, I don't know if it's like a sawed off shotgun or if it's actually any type of real gun. She comes with a magazine to put right in there. Let's make sure I put it in the right way. And that's not it. Ooh. And that kind of just clips in there just like that. She comes with her knife. 
on the side of her leg back in the 80s, on the side of her leg now in 2022. Fits right in. And she's also got this backpack that is reminiscent again from 1986 kind of a heated serrated knife so i guess that's what we're supposed to think of here i guess that's what that's supposed to be and then kind of like lady j she's got a piece to change out her look this is the pompadour which is right here on her to give her that kind of faux haw punk rock look this is probably what i'm going to use so let me just switch that out Whoops, slayer right there. Um, that's a little bit freaky. It slides right on top. If I can get my fingers around it, there's these little little parts of the hair that goes down around her ears. I'm having a little bit of trouble with. I'm not good with hair. Try this again. Now I can guarantee you this is just me. All right, that took a few tries, but I guarantee you. This is the look I'm gonna keep her with. That looks badass. It definitely looks like Wendy O. Williams. That's the look I think I'm gonna rock here. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of technical trouble with my original Zorana. She's 36 years old at this point, so totally loose legs. She had a lot of playtime as a kid, so she's gonna fall over probably. Back to 2022 Zorana. I Man, she just looks awesome to me. I know a lot of the channels that do reviews all are about the articulation so i don't know if i really need to go over that i mean the classified series is one of the best when it comes to articulation you got what's that the double jointed elbows um you'll really be able to get these things in any type of pose that you want um so i don't know if i need to go over that if you guys want me to concentrate on articulation I guess, you know, there's a comment section. You guys can let me know. Um, I think that what we can do is I'm just going to go ahead and put her in the superhero pose. But there's one pose that I'm more interested in. Uh, if they can pull it off, then that's good for my collection. The breakdance pose. All right. So back in the 80s, breakdancing was a huge thing. I'm going to be concentrating on toys that are new versions of 80 toys and i'm just gonna as many times as i can remember or do it we're gonna have the little sound wave here for the boom box and we're gonna get them into a kind of a break dance pose that should be enough to show you what their articulation is like boom she's got it that's a break dance pose if they can hold that the articulation is good enough for me. Um, I can't imagine I would actually display her like that, but if they can pull off these breakdance moves, then that's great articulation. And she's got it. Not bad for a punk rock chick. Good job, Zorana. What is a dreadnought without a motorcycle? All right. I'm missing the gun. I'm hoping Classified does this soon, but we need more dreadnoughts. We need more dreadnoughts. So basically, um, who doesn't want to see Zorana, Zartan, um, any of the other characters that are in the pipeline on a motorcycle? What's great about this line, you can definitely put them in with um, some Marvel Legends stuff. I use this Punisher bike for my dreadnoughts, or two dreadnoughts now, Zartan, basically. There's a lot of cool stuff out there that you can use to customize or set up a scene she might be a little too small for this i think it's better for zartan kind of get the idea where i'm going with that speaking of zartan how does she stack up against her brother now there's two versions of zartan which brings me to not just how does she scale what is the value when you're picking up zorana this is the first version of zartan this is the second version of zartan this one is the regular release, number 23, and this is number 31. 31? I think it's 31. Anyway, this is the color change Zartan. These came with 
special packaging. He was a deluxe figure with a bunch of different heads and accessories. Basically, what I'm saying is they're probably going to do the same thing with Zorana, right? So he was known to color change. I don't know if they have something in the pipeline. So it's up to you if you feel like you want to wait for that. I think that I'm going to customize my own to do what I want with the color change. Either way, I think she's just, I mean, they really knocked it out of the ballpark with this figure. She's badass looking. She's a dreadnought through and through. They just really killed it. So it's either you pick this one up when it becomes available or you wait for the inevitable color change version. Either way, um, I'm a completionist, so I'm going to get it regardless. But just keep in mind, the color change is probably coming. If it's something you want to wait for, then wait for it. Anyway, moving on, it's really just a great addition. It's going to be one of the last that are in the clear packaging. And I'm just really excited to have this figure. I'm excited for G.I. Joe right now. Everything is shipping, even if it's all at once. It's just a really good time. So in addition to the creative artwork that's on the packaging, there's a lot of really creative action figure photographers out there with some Instagram handles that I'm going to share at the end of each video if I can. And then I will link their handles down below for you to follow them. Give them support. Anyway, it, it's a fun time to be a G.I. Joe collector. So I hope you enjoyed this. Any comments, anything, leave below. Like, subscribe. Apparently I'm supposed to say that, according to my son. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Go get yourself a Zorana. All right, let's end this with a slow uh, 360 Lazy Susan shot. Um, you don't really need these stands, but I had somebody print this up for me. It's a cool Dreadnought stand. Um, and since she's going to be rotating i find a lot of the figures will fall over regardless of how well they stand but there you go enjoy